And now, back to The Splash, live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. I'm Tyler Keith at the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show along with Ken Friedenberg. Ken, you've, uh, you're over here, your particular art is making buttons, but also making uh, uh, wristwatch Julie, bands as well. So tell us about it. The world's first organic watch, the world's first organic and eye watch band. And uh, we use a button template appropriately because Tagua was used to make buttons before plastic. Tagua is referred to as ivory nut. It looks just like ivory without hurting elephants. And I cut it with a bandsaw and I feed the shavings to the birds and they eat it because it's full of polysaccharide. So it's healthy, it's nutritious, it's edible. That makes everything organic. It's non-toxic. So it's eco-animal, earth-friendly and sustainable. And we use eco-friendly dyes from Switzerland that never come off. And this is the world's first organic watch. Like that, a Sony battery, Citizen Drive, Wrap your hand through the braided on cord and wrap around the button like this. So Ken, how did you start getting into this? What drew you, drew you and, your, and your wife Mako to this particular art? Well, about 24 years ago, we were doing an art show in, in Japan, Tokyo, gift show, and we we're using a gold, pre-Columbian gold jewelry. It was getting very expensive. So the Colombian embassy was competing a lot with Brazil for products and work. So they introduced us to this ivory nut, vegetable ivory, palm ivory, from the Tagua tree. And they uh, took us to the uh, Colombian rainforest in Britain. And uh, we started picking it up off the ground. We met with the tribe people too. And these are the children that live there. They have no electronics. We live with them, we visited them, Mako's with them there. They're very pure, very humble. And they have only a hydroelectric power to run a blender to make fish soup. But other than that, that's all they had. So we saw the need there. and. Uh, we started employing their parents, like Fidel, there. And uh, he's cutting open the tagua, cuts them open, so I can teach people about how it looks and how it grows, how it replaces ivory. Because uh, it protects elephants and it protects the Amazon, where 20% of the Earth's oxygen comes from, and 50 to 75% of our drugs and medications come from. Uh, if we do only watches, for example, we can make 100 watches in three months if we do only that. But we make a lot of individual parts and we piece them together, the hundreds to thousands of parts, and then we use them in intermittently between different designs. Ken Friedenberg is with us uh, at our coverage of the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Ken, we know artists like, like you and your wife Mako coming from different parts of the U.S. or around, or around the world come to this show every single year. Is yeah. it your first time at the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show? Have you been here before? It's about the third or third time. Third or fourth time, Mako? Third time, yeah. What keeps, what keeps bringing you guys back? Well, the clientele is really good. Uh, we understand there was some uh, sponsorship from a Jew Jewish organization, so they asked us to make the world's first organic Star of David. I did that with laser. I used to do it with a Dremel and, and, and dental tools, and it took three times longer. So we, we, invest, we invested in a laser cutter, and that, that's, we did that for this show in particular. Well, Ken, we appreciate you, you joining us and, and talking to us about your art. And, of course, you can find more information about all the artists at this year's Orchard Lake Fine Art Show on hotworks.org. Ken, thank you very much. Thank you. Aloha and ahui ho until we meet again. Thank you again, Ken. Ken Friedenberg from the Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. We'll take a break. More coverage from this year's event coming up after this break on The Splash Live.